Hi again, my name is Kevin Cameron and uh, welcome to my art studio. I um, just want to say uh, it's great to have you drop in and I'm um, just going to give you a tip on how I actually get myself motivated when I get into the studio and I just feel like, you know, you know, especially if you just finish a painting, you're sort of like, uh, how do I get back to it? You know, you, you maybe even have a start on a painting and you're looking at it and I don't know where to put my first brush stroke. Well, this will be a tip for you, very brief. It might work, it works for me, and it's just a matter of um, putting it into action. Okay, so we're back to answer that question of how do you get motivated when you start a painting. Okay, as you see right here, I have um, started a painting, and it's just the initial underpainting wash and then a bit of a sketch we're going to work on. Still in that same series, the Happy Cat series, the working title. Alright, so I get back to my room and I want to decide, well, how am I going to get started? Well, I find a good idea is to have something um, to have another work in progress. It's sort of a, I would say maybe a hobby, a hobby painting. All right, now this may not focus so well with the light. These cameras seem to, as good as they are. This is just a uh, sort of a relief painting collage where if you can see, I have cut out foam and I've used um, tar gel, I think it is, to glue the foam there. This is not finished, by the way. It's just a, a, you know, an ongoing work in progress. And it is actually a section of a local cafe, which I went in and did a sketch. And uh, I took a, few, took a few photos. And as you can see, some of the, some of the pieces are just... Um, just yet to be glued on there and painted, whatever. But if you have something like this going in the background and it's just a work in progress, you can say, for example, now this needs another coat of, of black. So it's, it's a no-brainer. All you have to do is just get out your black paint. Your note's going to go over that and you do your second coat. By doing the second coat, it gets you... Um, it just gets you in that painting, it primes you. It's like when they used to have to prime the old, uh, the old tractors or cars by putting some gas in there first. So all you have to do is just mix up some, some black paint, for example. And um, I used to like, I, I like to use these styrofoam trays. I'm not exactly sure if that actually um, saves the environment at all because they, they can be recycled, but my understanding is after they have paint glops on them like this, they, um, they are just garbage, so. But I can use them several times as long as they don't get too dark and so I can't see what the colors are. So yeah, that's how I solve the problem of getting back to starting. I find that if I, I take a couple days or whatever to think about this painting in the back of my mind, imagining it, the, the new painting, imagining it how I want to have it, and just to get me started, I can go to uh, I would call it a hobby painting, you know, something that I may sell or may not sell. And um, you just get started that way, and uh, I find that's a really big help. It's just to start on this painting, that will get you in the mode. It gets the feeling of the brush and the paint in your hands, or whatever it is you do for a medium. And then um, you're good to go. So that's how I get started on a painting that um, I'm just starting into, and uh, maybe I've been away from it for a couple days. That's what primes me up. Some other people, another, another tip that gets you motivated again is uh, just to do some basic sketching. Um, find something fun if you can and just start getting the, 
getting the old pencil going on the paper and that will get the, the juices flowing, the artistic juices. And uh, get you back in that mode. It's, it's, it's kind of like um, maybe exercising or working out. You know, you, sometimes you just don't feel like doing it. But if you just say, I'm going to do a little thing. I'll just do, I'll do two push-ups or, you know, maybe your regular is you do 20. I don't know. But um, that just gets you motivated. Hey, and some days, it, you know, you got to enjoy life too. It's not about the, it's not all about the, uh, the push, push, push and the, and the success, success and the stuff. But if you want to be motivated to, uh, to get going, that's what you can do. Okay, well, enough of that. Enough ranting on about that. I hope it was helpful for you. Um, thanks for watching. Visit again. And um, I hope you enjoy my stuff. And, and I'd love to hear from you. So if you want to add a comment down below, go for it. Subscribe. Can't guarantee how many videos I'm going to put out. But uh, if you have anything you'd like to know about, then just give me a little comment down below.